Hello, my name is Siddharth and today I am going to talk about ultrasound guided caudal epidural block. As we all know that caudal block is something that, that is produced by injection of local anesthetic into the caudal epidural canal through the sacral hiatus. And the success rate of caudal block is uh, mainly dependent on the anatomical variation and the identification of the sacrum. But unfortunately, there is considerable variability in sacral hiatus and anatomy. And with the advance of age, the ligament and corn they become thickum, and uh, the identification of sacral hiatus or the sacral corn that become difficult. So, because of the anatomical variability and uh, difficult identification, there there are failure rate of caudal flock. See, this is sacral cornu, uh, uh, sacral hiatus, two sacral cornu over here, and uh, this is coccyx, and this is the place when we actually enter through the caudal epidural space, sacral hiatus. See, uh, and in in most of the adult, it is not possible to identify both cornu in a single person in particularly individual person so uh, the variability is there now indications the caudal block is indicated mainly uh, for surgical analgesia and anesthesia in pediatric populations in uh, caesarean section or like in labor pain for obstetric analgesia and anesthesia it is also used for some diagnostic and prognostic uh, uh, indications and it is used uh, for acute and uh, chronic pain for uh, lumbar radiculopathy or low back pain or like spinal stenosis and all it is uh, also useful in cancer in in cancer pain like in bon bony metastasis uh, and like chemotherapy related uh, neuropathy and uh, some secondary pain like uh, in uh, pelvic or perineal or rectal um, malignancy that may lead to pain and uh, uh, this caudal epidural block is effective one. Now uh, if the special situation in that we can say that if previous lumbar spine surgery is there in, in, in those cases lumbar space is actually a difficult one and we can definitely go with uh, caudal epidural space through caudal road or uh, when the patient is anticoagulated or uh, they are having some coagulopathy then uh, this caudal block can be employed with caution. Contraindications are mainly uh, local site skin uh, infection and patient refusal. Uh, let's come to the ultrasound parameter and that uh, uh, generally utilizes high frequency linear probe and uh, uh, patient position uh, mostly lateral or it can be a prone one uh, the the approach will be the caudal to kefalate and uh, in plane approach mostly with uh, high frequency linear probe and uh, the needle that commonly utilized is 2.5 to 5 centimeter uh, short bevel needle uh, maybe pns1 and uh, dose that that depend on the, the age and type of surgeries now uh, the the basic steps for ultrasound guided caudal epidural uh, block is that first we need to scan horizontally uh, uh, from coccyx uh, to get the view of uh, horizontal view or the transverse view of the sacral hiatus so and even from the gluteal craft we just uh, uh, put probe on horizontally and then we nest, we just need to press to identify the sacral corner this is how and at this point step two is is we just have to rotate over here to lie sagittal plane to lies longitudinal plane so that uh, we can find out the sacrococcyl membranes and uh, uh, we can also proceed with uh, needle uh, we can we, we can visualize in plane uh, approach for needle and we can uh, see the needle piercing the sacrococcyl membrane and entering into the epidural space so these are the two steps for caudal epidural uh, block 
with ultrasound so when we put uh, a probe on on sacral hiatus horizontally the the picture on ultrasound will look like uh, a two sacral cone hyperechoic they they look like over here see the frogs it looks like a frog eye you know uh, two hyperechoic bilaterally we will find the two sacral cone this is one this is second and those look hyperechoic and those are superficial the next step is uh, in between this two sacral cone two hyperechoic structure can be seen one is muscle this is ligament this is sacrococcal lig ligament and this hyperechoic structure is a dorsum base of the sacrum so and somewhere here with this black this anechoid part is a caudal apodural space so so again look look at the age also see uh, this is the eye this is hyperechoic these are, these are the two sacrum these are the two uh, cornu and this is and this is a caudal epidural space yellow color it looks like uh, a, you you can remember the picture by the way of uh, remembering the frog face okay now when we uh, turn the probe at this level uh, uh, longitudinally then we will find uh, the sacrococcal uh, ligament this is uh, the base of sacrum somewhere here and this is the upper one this this is dorsum this is ventral and somewhere here you'll find the sacrococcal ligament over here and needle will come from this area and uh, this is the epidural space this one and this is the dorsum base of sacrum so here the ligament is very well visualized uh, the roof of the sacrum is also visualized and in between that we'll find the epidural space at the level of caudal so by entering from uh, uh, lateral to medial or like uh, caudal to cephalate we we can uh, in we can see the needle in plane in real time view see uh, the needle has approached to the caudal epidural space and see how the drug distribution is there see you can visualize the the needle and see the expansion of the space is is see just like a interfacial plane just like a tap it's going to expand see so see again see so that is the epidural space which expands from the from lateral to medial all the end uh, okay next see how i am scanning see from coccyx to get the sacral hiatus view uh, this is in the horizontal or this is in the transverse axis uh, we are going to identify the two sacral cornu over here see at this point we are nearer to the sacral cornu see two bilateral sacral cornu epidural space is there and floor of the sacrum is very well visualized at this point we need to we need to convert this this view into the longitudinal so at this point we have to stop and then we have to convert this into the longitudinal view and so that we can visualize very well the base of the sacrum the sacrococcal ligament and the epidural space and the needle will come from from lateral to medial or the caudal to cephalic and that will reach to the epidural space somewhere here the black one the anechoid part this is sacrococcal ligament see and this is the base of sacrum and this black or anechoid part is a caudal epidural space this is screening in case of adult actually so let's see how it looks in in child see uh, you can visualize this these are the two sacral corner cornu and somewhere here the sacrococcal ligament this is sacral hiatus small one see uh, two sacral cornu are actually visualized over here one and two okay and uh, the longitudinal view in that you can see this is sacrococcal membrane and somewhere here the black anechoid part is a is a caudal epidural space 
Okay. So let's see uh, a block in in child. See, this is the same same video. See the two sacral cornu in the in, in the horizontal view, and uh, now after identify identification of the sacral cornu, we are converting this view into the longitudinal view, and uh, so that we can very well visualize the sacrococcyl membrane and the epidural space. And uh, in real vision, uh, we are going to enter a needle into the caudal epidural space. it has some visual defect okay so the needle entry is there we are reaching to the epidural space it is very well visualized yes yes it is uh, in between the sacrococcyal membrane and in uh, dorsal base of uh, sacrum see the drug drug distribution see the expansion of the of the space Yes. So, see the space has been expanded and the drug is it is delivering over here. And you can also thread the the caudal catheter if you want at this point. So, to con to conclude, ultrasound is an excellent real time tool for caudal epidural block, and it is easy to learn. It is radiation free, and virtually it can be used in any clinical settings. Thank you.